Welcome my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you're subscribed down below. For today's video, I'll be working with HerGivenHair.com. And as you guys saw from the beginning of this video, it's about to be litty, okay? So um, this is how my package is looking. I got these scarves and headbands also from Her Given Hair, so you can check out the website for different scarves and headbands to spice up your headband wig so that it could have different looks. So yes, as I said, we are about to style a headband wig. And you guys saw in the beginning how I styled it so it doesn't even look like it's a headband wig. So this wig is a kinky texture unit. It is a 4B4C texture. You see all that kinky goodness, that naturalness, that healthy thickness. So um, usually I wash my wig straight out of the package, but girl, um, I'm trying to style this hair and go where I need to go. So um, we're gonna put some water in it to just loosen up the coils a little bit so that the hair is movable and it is easier to style. Now you could define the curls if you want, but I just wanted that carefree 4B4C type texture. I just wanted the hair to be in its natural form. So I'm just gonna take some light oil and then I'm gonna put it on top of the hair. I'm not gonna be using much of any product on this unit. I just want it to be as is. So after I add the water, I just use the oil on top of that and let it dry as is. Now it is time to touch up the edges. Now, this doesn't have to be done, but it is essential for my final look, okay? So I'm gonna do a little bit of soup to the doop, but not too much, just get the edges together. And then I'm just gonna do some side coily thingy-majigs. I don't know what you call that, but I just feel like it gives it a more natural look as if it's like my hair. I don't know if that even makes sense, but I'ma just say that. So this is how the band of the headband wig is looking. So I attach that in the back first, make sure that it is fit and snug because girl, you don't want this to be falling off your head, okay? So you wanna make sure that that thing is fitted. And it also has the combs in the wig so that you can get a very comfortable snug fit. If you want more of a fit or more comfort, you can always use some bobby pins in the back and the sides to make sure that the wig stays in place. So right now, I'm loving the big look of this wig. I could wear it as is, but you know, I wanna be a little bit extra. I wanna add that extra oomph to the style instead of just wearing it as a big fro, even though it is beautiful as is. So I'm just using my fingers to just move the hair around. As you guys can see, I'm not even using any tools, any styling tools. So um, as you guys can see from the beginning, I was going for a side um, updo type of look. So I'm bringing the hair forward and then just moving it to the side and around just so that it could get into form and place of how I'm gonna style it. So I'm using some bobby pins to just pin up the back so that it stays in place before I use the scarf. Now I'm going to be using this scarf that I got from her given like you saw in the beginning of the video. And um, you can style or tie the scarf however you want. Like I was basically improvising with this look as I go and I'm just like, okay girl, I'm loving how this is turning out. It's giving me a whole lot of soul queen vibe. Okay, I'm feeling my inner soul queen and I am loving it. So what I did was tie it in the front and then just wrap it around and tie it in the back and then tuck it in. And then now I'm just gonna move the hair and just play around with it until I get my desired look. Okay guys, now this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think of this look. Let me know if you thought this was a headband wig in the beginning of the video, cause girl, this it's like it's my hair. Like, like really top the things, top things. Like it looks like it's my hair. Look at the back. I'm just showing you guys the back. You can wear this hair however you like. The link and details will be in my description in my description box so you could check it out and get your very own unit like this is the ultimate protective style a wig without glue or any type of melting necessary none of that is necessary and that is all that i have for you guys today go on big up on yourself bye guys